All right, we're Brim and Rise, and this is our Rolling Stone UK cover shoe. When we got together, we just wanted to make music that kids could mosh to and go crazy to. And, and, but I mean, we were like very influenced by kind of shows that were going on around us locally. It was actually a lot of like American hardcore and like punk bands. That's all we wanted to do play gigs and make people mosh. Yeah, it took a while for us to be like accepted in that scene because we were like, we came out and we were like, you know, wearing like skin tight pants and makeup and all these other bands were like pretty straight edge hardcore, just like not into that thing. And I don't know if we ever truly accepted, but we worked our way through it. And with MySpace and stuff like that just coming out, it was like a, this brand new way to get your music out there and, and to hear so many other bands and stuff. Whereas before magazines did di dictate what you listened to and who you knew about was just kids on the internet and stuff. And when MySpace kind of ended, we were like the, the number one biggest MySpace band artist on the whole platform, like Eminem was second. Since I joined the band, we spent a lot of time trying to explore different sounds and develop a sort of more original sound. So yeah, I guess in the, in the last couple of years, it feels like we've kind of reached a point where we're comfortable with like being who we are a bit more. I think we're just like more proud to be a rock band at the moment because it's, I think like rock felt stale like maybe five, five or four years ago. And, it really did. We didn't have anyone to turn to or look to for inspiration. It didn't feel like there was much going on in the scene at all. It just felt like loads of legacy acts. Whereas so much has come through over the last couple of years and so much alternative and rock music and like a scene, a scene that reminds us so much of the scene that we started out in. It's, it's like blossoming now. It's like we used to not know who to take out on tour or who to collaborate and stuff. And now like the list is endless of like people we want to work with and doing these EPs where they come out digitally and just remove all that pressure. It just makes me be able to focus on the music a lot more. I mean, it was something that I wanted to do for a while and after, after like, we did Ammo, which was the longest we've ever spent on a record. Um, we just felt like we didn't want to do that again. And the way we've, the way music was changing so much and the way, how quickly people consume stuff now because everything's online, it's just like, an album just feels like it's consumed and, it's, and people are like, all right, what's next? And it's so quick. Obviously having the pandemic happen, it, I felt like it gave me the chance to go, right, let's do this different idea. We just wanted to be able to be more in the moment and like when we feel like writing music, we can, we can put it out. I think Parasite <clears throat> Eve was like a really special moment for us because it was like no one was expecting, we were one of the first bands really, or artists, to put out some brand new music in like throughout the pandemic and the fact that it, people responded to, to it so positively and you know it felt like it helped a lot of people a lot of people just I don't know it was just really exciting for us and it really made us feel like right this is the right choice to, to make an EP that's very reactive to the situation that's going on right now and, and if we had an album we were writing for an album that had to come out next February I think we'd all be very depressed right now <laughs> like the first record drew inspiration from a lot of like 2000s old rock and you know new metal and kind of stuff that got us into music in the first place. In the lockdown, I think like everyone, everyone was feeling quite nostalgic because no one could look to the future because it was so uncertain. Everyone was looking back. Um, so with this record, it's almost like, it's like the progression of, of where we went next with rock in, in our childhood. And that's a lot of emo, screamo, hardcore, like the, the scenes that we you know started in. Um, so it's going to be paying homage to a lot of that kind of stuff. Everyone's just kind of come out of the cave, really, with, with lockdown and stuff, and we're all like figuring out how to move forward and stuff, trying to like connect. So it's it's going to be like a very emotion, emotional album. How do you feel about headlining um, Reading and Leeds? Because obviously you're going to be playing Leeds next year. Do you want to say something? Yeah, um, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's cool. I mean, Leeds Festival, Reading for Jordan, it's one of them festivals we grew up on and we went to see all these massive bands. Uh, you know, everyone played it, everyone who were good, you know what I mean? So, we've been going there since I was like 16. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really cool for us. To, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yes. Down. 